an extended essay in sports science allows you to sort of explore something that you may become intrigued in, that we've talked about in class, to a much deeper level. So oftentimes it'll include an aspect of the other sciences, like psychology or biology, physics, chemistry, but realistically what we're looking for is a distinct human performance focus with regards to tying in that content, but it really does, like as I say, allow you to explore something of interest to you. So a couple of common misunderstandings. One of the most common is that the IA is, the EE, sorry, is essentially an extended IA. And there are lots of components that are similar, um, but with your EE, you need to be able to uh, support your findings with a lot more established research um, already in the field. So yes, you can still perform um, an experiment and it's super encouraged to do that. And your data can support or contradict existing data. Um, and that gives you another piece of information to speak to in your analysis and stuff. But realistically, you need to, before you decide on your topic, you need to find some already established literature that exists so that you can compare yours to that. Um, another common um, mistake that I see is kids wanting to um, give drugs or not drugs but like caffeine and um, protein powder are two of the most common things that I'm asked about. You cannot have anybody ingest any um, drugs per se. You also can't have them like do things like sleep deprivation which is another common research topic but we are ethically not able to perform those things so um, with a, if you really were hung up on doing an experiment like that then we would discuss using existing literature as the sole basis for your project as opposed to you performing the experiment and then comparing it. Realistically the questions that I get asked more is if it can be an extended IA and you cannot use the same topic for your IA and your EE, also a common question that I get. Um, a lot of people feel, it feels sometimes like they've decided they want to do it in sports science and then they're trying to sort of find a topic that's remotely interesting. I would say find your topic that genuinely interests you because you're going to spend a lot of time thinking about it, working with it, processing it and so if that happens to be in sports science, great. But if it happens to be in another subject, I would encourage you to follow whatever that looks like. Golden tips, I would say t touch base with me if you're interested in sports science because pretty quickly we can ascertain, it's a broader topic than an IA, okay, so we need to have multiple aspects that you're going to explore as opposed to just answering one question with a hypothesis. Uh, so I would encourage you to talk to me relatively soon, or Mr Spears, um, and that way we can sort of guide you in a direction that's going to make it both enjoyable for you and useful, a, a great question to have for your EE.